How can XRP reach a high price? I'm going to answer this and show you some numbers in this video, as well as give you a ton of new XRP news and Ripple news. This is going to be so great. Let's get into it. So we are looking down the barrel of a $1.48 XRP. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been cooling off a bit, but we are looking for the next leg up to $2. I do think it is extremely close. Let's talk about this. Let's rick -a -rick -a shift gears. Asset tokenization estimates, right? We've seen all the all of these different companies putting out what their estimates are for the next few years as far as tokenizing net GDP. You can tokenize debt. There's so much value out in the world that you're going to be able to tokenize. But the first things that are getting tokenized are bonds. And we're going to talk specifically about that here in just a second. Also, you have ArcX. In, in a groundbreaking move, the Ripple has just tokenized Barton's $3.8 billion money market fund on the XRP ledger. Now, this is a groundbreaking step. Imagine what will happen if once these funds start looking at the quality and how quickly things can settle on the blockchain, what if more funds start to get moved, right? The world is filled with money, lots and lots of money. And institutions and banks are always looking for better ways to transfer and transport that money across the globe. And if you can use Ripple's XRP to settle, buy in, exchange, tokenize, debt, tokenize new funds, now you're setting yourself up for an extreme success in the DeFi as well as the tokenization market. So this is a really, really big deal. And it talks about $16 trillion in tokenized assets by 2030. Personally, I think it could be a lot higher right? Ripple adds $5 million to the nude fund from the UK's biggest fund managers, tokenization of the multi-billion dollar industry on the XRP ledger. Also, we have for this from Smoke, much like the early days of the internet, real world asset tokenization will be dominated by a very few key players. And Ripple is at the top of that food chain. If you're reading this, you have the rare opportunity to be an early adopter, right? A transformative technology, right? You've never had the opportunity to own an asset that these central banks are interested in using, right? Okay, dollars, you got me there. But like, I'm talking about the technology part of it, right? D the DLT part of it that central banks are using, uh, the SWIFT banks are going to be using, financial institutions are going to be using, corporations are going to be using. This is incredible, right? It's like owning a piece of Visa or MasterCard, right? Those payment networks. That's exactly what we're talking about here. Currently, less than 1% of the world's physical assets are tokenized. By 2030, it's widely predicted that 10% of the world's GDP, roughly 16 trillion, will be tokenized. But think about this, right? You have a part of the world's GDP, but you can also have debt, right? This is what a lot of people don't talk about when it comes to the XRP ledger. There's over $330 trillion worth of global debt in the world that you could start adding to the ledger. And that would increase the price of XRP dramatically. And then, so he was just kind of quoting some of the stuff that was highlighted here. Uh, it says, according to DeFi Llama, as of mid-2024, the total value of real world asset tokenization is only still only 6 billion, guys. We're still in the very first innings of this much, much needed transfer to this new way of traditional finance in DeFi. Of this 5 billion, 99% of the tokenized assets are US treasury bonds. Okay, let's get into this part of it, right? So Ripple to allocate 10 million to, uh, to, uh, 10 million to tokenize US treasury bills on the XRP ledger. Check this out. Payments Network Ripple will allocate $10 million to a tokenized version of the U.S. Treasury bills or T-bills that will be available on the XRP ledger for the first time. The short-term U.S. government debt is being issued by T-bill tokens by the tokenized platform Open Eden. Now, I want to say how important this is. If you have missed this, that, that China and other BRICS countries are looking to move away from the U.S. dollar. They saw what happened to Russia when Russia invaded Ukraine. A lot of the SWIFT banks ended up freezing Russia's money and confiscated it, right? Because it was in the SWIFT system. So China's looking at that saying, wow, that's not good. That, that makes me a little nervous, right? What if we do something the US or its allies don't like? Are they going to take my money? So China has been selling US treasury bills, right? And bonds. And that's been affecting the market dramatically. So you need something or somebody or an institution on the other side buying up the treasury bonds that are being dumped on the open market. And this is an incredible time for stable coins, especially like Ripple 
simple stablecoin because it can fill some of that void, right? And when you're talking about how much we're dealing with here when it comes to U.S. Treasuries and these bonds, it says as of April 2024, the number of U.S. Treasury securities outstanding is approximately $34.5 trillion. Okay, so what would happen right? What would the price of XRP be if a portion of that, right? Well, if, if let's say half of the treasury markets wound up on the XRP ledger. Now, this is a high number, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just trying to give you an example here of, of how much an impact of $17 trillion could have on the XRP price. So if you have half of this 34, 34.5 trillion is going to be 17.25, right? And that would bring the price of XRP to $308. But don't it doesn't stop there. I also pulled up some information about the derivatives market, right? Because that's really important as well. As of December, 2023, the notional value of the outstanding over-the-counter OTC derivatives market globally is $667 trillion. I've seen numbers as high as $1 quadrillion or $1.4 quadrillion, so that does vary depending on. And this is also public markets, not even private markets. So imagine what would happen if we got a huge allocation of the derivative market that was basically living on the XRP ledger. And if we were able to do that, we can see that if 25% of the derivative market, the public derivative market wound up on the XRP ledger, you would be looking at an XRP price of $4,770. So it's not insane to think that XRP won't go into the thousands of dollars. I personally think that over the next five to 10 years, you are going to see hundreds of trillions of dollars going to some of the best networks possible, which is one of those is XRP, ladies and gentlemen. Insane insane all right listen please like the video if you've made it this far i know you're learning something please like the video it helps me get in front of more people and we're growing the channel so amazingly thanks to all of your support it means the world to me we had a thousand people yesterday and today uh, yesterday's live stream the next live stream will be on friday at 2 30 pst i hope you can join me here live on youtube it was a kick, man. It was a blast. And I also gave you like three or four projects that already did a two, three or a 10 X over the last 24 hours. So you're welcome for showing up to that chat. So check this out. Bitstamp, Bitstamp's new derivatives exchange, right? Bitstamp, one of the industry's oldest and most respected exchanges is gearing up to launch a cutting edge derivatives trading platform. And they're not going at it alone. The exchange has set its sights on Ripple's groundbreaking technology on the XRP ledger. Listen, guys, Bitstamp is not the only game in town. Once some of these, these funds and these things get set up, these derivative markets get set up, other companies will want to come in and join in. And this could lead to trillions of dollars in derivatives being exchanged over the XRP ledger. And that is what is exciting. That's what we're waiting for. And that's how we all are going to get into a place where we could be very, very wealthy eventually. New Ripple Payment Partner revealed a leading remittance company based in Australia. High money transfers, let's play. Our goal is really to enable all remittance corridors that our customers might be interested in. I'm Diane Nguyen, CEO of High How Money Transfer. High How Money Transfer is a remittance company helping customers to send money from Australia overseas. Our primary customers, just about anybody, individuals who want to support their families, but also businesses who need to make payments, need to pay suppliers overseas. In the remittance business, it's all about how much liquidity and how quickly your money can move. Absolutely. Ripple came along and were able to support our flows. We were able to fund our partners in a just-in-time, just-enough manner. And what that means is funding the amount that's sufficient to cover what we need. Because of Ripple's solution, we were able to enable real-time payments for our customers. And not only has it given us speed efficiencies, but it's also given us cost efficiencies. There's that transparency that a customer can see given it's real time. That gives us a lot of brand kudos, brand strength. Our customers respect the fact that we can deliver that service. Um, it's very transparent. Ripple's payment services are 24 seven. It allows us to make sure we've always got funding. We deal with lots and lots of corridors with all their different complexities. So working with Ripple has enabled us fast forward three years to having double the growth we expected. We've been able to go. Double the growth they expected over the last three years. Ladies and gentlemen, listen to that. Their business has doubled in the size, right? Imagine the people that you could bring on and hire or you could expand, right? Other companies will look at the success that just something like this, right? A high ha 
uh, the success of them over the last few years, other companies that maybe are not working in blockchain will look at this and say, hey, I want to use this technology too, right? She just said that it makes customers' lives easier. It helps with funding and is 24-7, ladies and gentlemen. This is the future of the way value moves around the planet. From something that was really cumbersome with lots of friction to something that was smooth, that's been a game changer for us. That has been a game changer for us, man. Ripple is changing lives. I'm excited. All right. So Justin, this is from Good Morning Crypto. Uh, Ripple has started following Securitize. Securitize is a leading platform for expanding investor access to exclusive private market alternative assets from private equity to private credit and more. What have we been saying this whole video, ladies and gentlemen? This is where we are heading. This is where we are heading. This is so exciting. Also, SBI Holdings and Franklin Templeton I and XRP ETF. We'll see how that comes out. And also, this was a great list of Ripple's partnerships. It is a juicy, juicy list. Let's just take a look at some of this. Banco Santander, one of the biggest banks in the world. Bank of Indonesia, Bank of Thailand, MoneyGram, of course, Cambridge Global Holdings, SBI Holdings. And it just goes on and on and on. Ask yourself if any of the crypto assets that you are buying, do they even come close to the amount of partnerships that Ripple has access to? You're talking about access to billions and billions and billions of bank accounts and e-money wallets all over the globe. And when the entire world is able to use a technology without realizing that they're using technology, well, that is when we've reached mass adoption. And that is when you don't have to worry about a thing anymore. If you learned something, please like, share, and let's go. Man, happy Thanksgiving. I love you all. I'll see you on Friday.